I'm Embry Duffy. I'm 14 years old, and I live in Raleigh, North Carolina. Tell me about your cancer. It's just like people say things, and I'm like, what do I respond? I'm praying for you. Well, did it work? No. <laughs> Keep going, please. How are you? It's like, uh, I'm fine. Like, I mean, I could be better. I could not have cancer for the fourth time. This is How to Talk to Embry About Cancer by Embry. Number one, I make a lot of what I call TCJs, which are tasteful cancer jokes. Number one, you, unless you've had cancer, are not allowed to make a TCJ. Somebody put like the flash on a photo and I was like, careful there, you might give me a seizure. Unless you have actually had a seizure, do not say that. Do I like point? If I point, can you like write it? Yep. Rule number two, be positive. Instead of being like, how are you? Be like, hey Embry, how are you girl? Or like, I mean, you don't have to say it like that, but <laughs> something along those lines. Oh, oh my gosh, I have something else, okay. Rule number three, if you post a picture of me, I need to see it first, please. Thank you. <laughs> if you look bomb in that photo and the other person does not, that is a bummer. But you know, don't post the photo. Make it your wallpaper on your phone. So then not everybody's gonna see it, but you'll still see it and be like, yeah, I looked good in that photo. My friends are always gonna say I look beautiful no matter what, because they're, you know, the sweetest people ever. But steroids, like, just, they don't flatter anybody. Like, even if you're like, I don't know, who's a famous model? Giselle. Giselle. Yeah, if Giselle took steroids, she was she would not be looking as fabulous as she always does. <laughs> Rule number four. It's not how are we doing, it's how are you doing. Like, yep. well, what medicines are we on? Oh, I'm, I'm actually doing blah, 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 blah. You're, last time I checked, not doing any of that. And rule number five, you can be sympathetic, but you can't be empathetic. You know, I understand. Cause girl, you probably don't. Like, unless you've had or have cancer, you probably don't. My friends are really, really good about being like, oh my gosh, I know, I know that must suck. They all follow all these rules most of the time. Oh my gosh, I have another one. Okay, bonus rule. If you're gonna make a TV show about cancer, or anything for that matter, do research, please. <laughs> There's some TV show on Netflix oh. called um, Alexa and Katie. It doesn't make any sense. Like, in the first episode, she's getting her last dose of chemo. But it doesn't make any sense because her hair doesn't start falling out till several episodes later. It's like my parents, they don't like to watch shows about lawyers, because my dad is like, that's not how it's done, and blah, 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 and he gets all annoyed. It's like the same thing. So I was diagnosed with ALL leukemia when I was seven in January of 2012. I did chemo, I mean, I did spinal taps and you know, the whole shebang. In the summer of 2016, I relapsed, so I got, the cancer came back and I got it again. I got chemo and I had spinal taps, the same thing. And last year, my doctor suggested a bone marrow transplant. My younger sister was the donor. That was probably the hardest because it was so like, you couldn't really be around very many people and it was, and I also had to do like radiation and chemo and bone marrow transplant and it was just like, you know, kind of emotionally and physically exhausting. Now I'm doing CAR T cell therapy, which is where they take your, some of your cells out of your body and then like send them somewhere and they kind of get like, manipulated to be these cancer killing cells. So I did that, I got the cells back in my body February 11th. You need to know why people sometimes look at you like you're a superhero, because you just listed those things off like you were giving someone a list of what to go pick up at Target. <laughs> you, you were like, oh, I'm just in Cartesian and chemo and radiation. I mean, they, like the way that I would say, I think I'm gonna go to the gym and then I'm gonna go get a burrito. Yeah. <laughs> Are you yeah. aware of how impressive you are right well, now? <laughs> I think since I like 
have been doing it since I was so little. It doesn't really like, I'm not really like that affected by it. But I do kind of get that sense of like, this is ridiculous. Like, why am I going to the clinic every other day? I just want to go to school and be with my friends. Like, you know, I am I get the like angsty teenager kind of side of me comes out sometimes. <laughs> sometimes like, you just have to be okay with being a little upset. Like, you just have to be like, you know what, this sucks. And if I want to like have a pity party, that's like, just like let yourself do that from time to time. Cause it's important to be like aware of you know, your emotions and not like push it away with being like, well, it could be worse, like blah, blah, blah. Like just, I mean, it sucks. As long as you're like trying to look on the bright side, like, well, I have a great support system or I'm lucky to be at this hospital or whatever. I think that, you know, it kind of balances out. <laughs> I'm the girl of the year, so I don't really do anything except for like go on stage and talk for two minutes and then like, go to the buffet and eat all the food and stuff Practice and like your wave. take pictures with people yeah and then like, <laughs> like it's just raising money for a good cause and like I remember my mom telling me that my dad like when I was first getting sick was reading about like car key cell therapy like saying like well it's you know good to know that this is an option just in case you know we need it in the future and without Organizations like Leukemia and Lymphoma Society, I would not be able to be doing CAR T cell therapy. So it's like, it's really, really important, even if it's just like whatever you can spare, just to donate a little bit here and there to organizations like that. That really helps. problem with buying like bags like purses and my dad like gets so mad he's like you don't need another purse blah, blah, blah. and I'm like no I don't need another purse but I want another purse and you know if I see a purse that I like it makes me happy you know like money totally can buy happiness I don't know why people say it can because it totally can um so yes that's that's what makes me happy shopping